mind. Um, and I'm going to be showing you my pond. So let's get to it. Alrighty, guys. This is my new and improved bigger pond. I actually have some fish in here already. I got my little bubbler right here. You see a better bubbler? Stronger. The entire thing is just beautiful. Don't know where my fish are. They're probably hiding around here. Where are my fish? Oh, there they are. They're all by the rock. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. See right. See that little orange thing right there? That's a fish. And, uh. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Little, little, little orange thing. Another little fish. Yeah, I have three of them in here. You probably will. I'm actually gonna make them a uh, little hiding hole later. But don't worry if you're wondering about my other pond. My other pond is actually like a. My pond is actually like a. My other pond fish. Like my fish for my other pond. I didn't get rid of them, they didn't die. I just put them in my other tank. Yeah, my tank, get out of the tank. Alright, let's try to see them. Oh, oh. There they are. There they are. They're all doing really good. And, uh, yeah, they're all doing really good. Actually, this is pond was really easy and cheap to make. I actually just got this little floating driftwood log. <gasps> Look at that. Swimming around. Like I'm saying, like I'm saying, I actually just got this little floating driftwood log by by sawing down this little tree branch right here. I got my old beta tank right here. And then I had to be put in a quarantine quarantine tank. Cause it was like I had this like weird like disease like not disease but like a sickness that made it so like it can it eat. I don't know what's called but it then it didn't stop. So I decided to make this a. Uh, Pond right, big pond right here, bigger pond. Leave in the comments down below what else fish I can put in. I want kind of like a natural look, kind of fish look. Anyway, these are actually rosy minnows. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Yeah, 20 gallons do good. I got my uh, dwarf gravy, polar blue. Little rainbow shark, my little bristle nose pleco. Thankfully, thankfully, bristle nose plecos don't grow that big. They only grow six inches, so you can put them in a couple twenty gallons. Yeah, I'm still wondering what other types of fish I can put in here. Water's pretty good temperature. It's like fifty degrees. Here's one. That's my little one. I don't know where my big one is. Oh, oh that's not my big one. I'm not sure where my big one is. Might be under the rock here. Gotta be careful when I'm looking at this. Uh, here. Oh, there it is. There's my bigger one. Alright, uh, there's all three of them. I'm gonna wait until. Yeah, I'll move out of the way so I can put the rock back. There we go. Yeah. Leave a like on this video if you like this pond here. Alright. Goodbye.